Oh, oh hey, look. Someone's here now. <clears throat> I got mail. The person who sent this wanted to stay anonymous. <clears throat> I know who they are. <clears throat> they just wanted me to keep it keep it quiet. So this box weighs 18 pounds, 3.2 ounces. So let's see what's in here. And I had to go to the post office in the bus, on the bus, and carry this home. They did warn me it was a big package, or a heavy package. I just didn't expect it to be so large. Hi, Rosalie. Hi, Melissa. And Adele. Hey, Adele. Look at this. I only got it open. <laughs> okay. So there is a, a card that, that they want it to be kept private. And I like how they, they, they sit some of their cardboard it to um, instead of packaged air. Sit that over there. Ah. <laughs> I love recycling their plastic. Hey, Yarny Cat, to as um, filling. Wow. First thing I see. <laughs> I haven't had one of these in ever. Look, we've got needles. There is a pair of eight, a pair of nine, and a pair of tens. You can always use more needles. Look at the size of this hook. I almost bought one of these the other day. <laughs> Yay. I'm glad I didn't buy one. There is a ton of stuff in here. I mean, look at this. We got a look at this bookmark. I love this. If I keep dropping it, it's a magnet, but it's a cat. I love that. It's just too cute. Oh, notebooks for keeping track of stuff. You never have enough notebooks. Look at that shiny one. We've got two two bigger ones, or actually big one, a medium one, and two um, small ones. I think these are nice. Oh, I see cat something. 
It's a bag. It's a cat bag. Hey, CJ. I am officially the crazy cat guy. Oh, and it's got the wide bottom, too. Yeah, I think Melissa was going to go do a Zoom with someone. Hey, little Zinnia Patch. ZZ Twist. I've never heard of that one. Makes me think of ZZ Top. It's soft. What is this? It's a size four. 10% acrylic. It's really soft, though. Let's see. Oh, cotton. Sugar will cotton. Yarn bee. With an itty bitty tiny little cat. Look at this. Itty bitty little cat. Oh. <laughs> That's going to get taped somewhere so I don't lose it. Sugar will cotton fondant. Is it fondant or fondant? Fondant. Fondant fun. I like that. I like cotton. I like all yarn. Ooh, look at this one. DK Colors. Anti-peeling. This is 100% acrylic. It's squishy. You guys, I did water, or I did aqua Zumba this morning. I am not out on, um, I am not coordinated enough for this stuff. I was about three steps behind them the whole way, but, you know, it was all good. Denim in Color by Yarn Bee. 50% acrylic, 50% cotton. This one's soft, and I like the color. Look at the... It's green. It's a green. I mean, it's like crayon green, but with the white mixed in with it, it makes it... It kind of mutes it out a little bit. Soft and shiny from yarn. Let's see. Oh, loops and threads. It's right there, and I still missed it. It is soft. It's a medium four. I like how medium four, I mean, medium can be, there's like a huge range of medium four. I don't know if y'all can see Little Miss up there on top of the cat tree. And there's Max on the blanket that I made hiding behind the ball. Little Miss. Hi there. Ha ha. Little palms. Look, it matches. <laughs> Here's Little Miss doo doo head half the time. Yeah. They were so super cuddly last night. Go to sleep. This one's closer to Max's color. Let's see. We've got some, another bag. Cute little clear bag with some yellow and red yarn in there. I like that. I like that little bag, though. This little bag might get repurposed to go to the gym with me. Because I need something for the showers afterwards. Something went rolling. Oh, it was another cat.
and their tiny little tiny little cat. Hello hearts, hello skunkwater. Ooh, I love this yarn. See, it even says it. The pattern included. This is made in Turkey. <laughs> okay, is Hobby Lobby if hi um hi Bridget and hi Nancy. Um this definitely did not get come from shipped to me from Oklahoma, but the yarn. Is from Oklahoma. So I don't know if Hobby Lobby is officially based in, in Oklahoma. I know we've got a couple warehouses, but I mean, we also have an Amazon warehouse, so I don't know. But this is soft. Let's see. Another little ball of yarn. Hi, Karen. Hold more of this, this match the same time. Oh, so there's three of these that we looked at earlier, the soft and shiny. Cool. And it is soft. And more cats, more itty bitty. She yeah, and I mean, I know there's Hobby Lobby stores everywhere, but I wonder, like, where's the main location like their home state like okay it did start in Oklahoma okay I just I never noticed on yarn before that um like see this one just says Hobby Lobby made in Turkey but it does the other one actually said Oklahoma City on it I have my collection of, of itty bitty cats going on this one what color is this stonewash I like this. It's that blue with that little bit of that gray tint to it. Oh, this is bright pink. But it's not like neon pink, but it is bright. And it's not as coral as it looks on camera. It's more of a reddish pink. But it's 100% acrylic, anti-peeling acrylic. Premier Yarns. And it is very soft. And I like how squishy they are. Hi, Thunder Above. Oh, and then we've got two of the, the Premier Air, um, in red. Really red is what the color says. Yeah, the pink, it... it uh, it's showing on my screen. It's looking coral, like kind of that. Yeah, a lot more orange than it is. It's more red than orange, but it's very. What is the the official name? Is neon pink? Yeah. See, I don't think I've ever had the premiere every day before, and it's it is super soft. Hi, Robin. And there's, by the way, there's Niles. He helps me record every day on my regular videos. And then down there is Road and Kill. That's where they hang out. Road and Kill are Niles' pets. And I have no clue what my two are up to. I get nervous when they go hiding. Oh, this is just so cute. Look at this. It's a little tape measure. Oh, when it locks and you have to boop the nose to get it back in. It's a little fuzzball tail. That is just absolutely so cute. Let me set that over there. What is, oh, and another bag. Like, to put your yarn in a yarn, you know. 
put your, the ball in so it doesn't go flying. I like that. Oh, what is this? The I love this cotton twist. It has a free pattern, and I wonder if it's the monkey. I do have a pattern that I... Oh, and another itty-bitty little cat. I downloaded a pattern that was little bitty um, monkey amigurumis. I'm going to need to work on them. I'm working on that um, learning the mini C2C. So... And I'm actually doing pretty good on once I, I figured out the pattern. I've um, oh yeah, I am almost as much of a bag whore as I am a yarn whore. Ah, uh, okay. So I have my little eBay yarn neck light. That's not. It's it's. Eh. It, you know, it's okay, but it's not quite bright enough. Look at this. The rechargeable one. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's definitely brighter than the. I got my shirt in Cozumel. The, this was when I went to Cozumel last year. I have to learn how, well, the, the monkey is from a pattern, so I have to, I haven't done it yet, um, but it is a free pattern, so I could go over, once I learn how to do it, I could do a, a tutorial on that one, but it may be a while before I even make it for the first time. Oh, look at, love this little container. Needle socks. They're little socks for your needles. That is so cute. All the ones that I have are just little triangles or cone cone tips. That is so cute. Let's see that. And see what is this bag? Look at this. Like if one you then wrap it. You got hooks on the inside and room for more stuff. Oh, I want to trace because I like um I'm a real tense, real tight knitter and crocheter. And so like I know when I crochet, when I do like the, the starting row, the foundation chain, whatever, I have to do like several sizes bigger. Otherwise it is, you know, wonky. Um and so I thought, you know, even though, like, I even like small ink pens. The um, um, zebra pens. I love those, the real skinny ones. But I thought that working with bigger um, needles might help kind of force me to relax my hand a little bit. But I like these because they're bigger, but they're, but they're still skinny. That is cool. I've never seen hooks like that before. There's one, it starts at a three, there's two threes, a three and a half, a four, four and a half, five, five and a half, and a six. I love that. Inline or tapered hooks? What do you mean by that? I generally, oh, hang on, here's my, these are the ones I got started with, the, just the, boy, the skinny metal ones, these are the ones I use most often, um, I have been trying to use some of these, the, um, but the problem I have with these is that, if you will, Notice I'm holding them the same way, but the hooks are pointing different because the tip came out of this one. These are my eBay specials. The tip came out and I put Gorilla Glue and I wasn't paying attention and the hook's backwards. So instead of putting my flat, the my thumb on the flat part, I have to put the flat part against my fingers. Good. 
I love my little eBay bag. Oh, look at this. Yeah, the, the boys hooks are real good about grabbing the yarn and keeping hold of it. These pink ones, for whatever reason, um, and maybe I'm not pairing. I mean, even though I'm going with the hook size that the label says, maybe I need to experiment with like one up or one down. Um, hi, I love Loopy. Um, I lose the, the yarn a lot with these. And so you play with them. Look at this one. This one is cool. I've not seen one like this before. And, and, and you know, I'm a guy and I don't always have the cleanest mind. And my mind, it's, yeah. <laughs> I still like it. Clover uh, arm, armor or amour? Yeah, my hands don't really hurt when I'm working on it. It's just... I'm tense at a lot. Actually, the part that might hurt is this finger wheel from jabbing myself with the hooks. Because I'm just not coordinated. I'm going to stick this over with those. I look at this little bag. It says meow. Okay, boy, I, I'm used to using boy. Boys are the one I do best with. I don't think I've tried baits. I may have to go look for a baits hook just to see what they're like to see if I like it better. Oh, this makes me feel preppy. Hook. That is just so cute. Yeah, I've not done, I've not got any of the expensive hooks. I did want to try the lighted hooks just because like if I'm working with a, I've got somewhere up in my stash, I've got um, like it's velvet, like the Bernat velvet, but it's black. And I swear it's like trying, it's, you just lose the light and you can't see the thread. Even with my interrogation spotlights, I have a hard time. Um, I haven't been able to do anything with that yarn yet. Oh, and more cats. And another cat. Red heart with love. Berry red. <sighs> it's more of a maroon. It's actually coming up pretty close on, sc on my screen. Let me go back and look at my hooks real quick. Like, so those are tapered. Have your hooks from 45 years ago. I wasn't even here 45 years ago. I was, I was almost here 45 years ago. Now these are not as tapered, but yeah. Okay, so I see what you mean by tapered. Get back in there. Oh, and more cats. We're little paper cats. Those are just so cute. Evergreen. I was going to say, yeah, this is a Christmas green. I get it soft. See, I just, I'm just so surprised with, because I remember grow, as a kid having a crocheted blanket that once you washed it, I mean, it was just like super scratchy and it was never in the right shape. Like it was wider at one end than the other and it was just wonky. And so I was always afraid of, um, I was always afraid of washing the, you know, the projects, what it was going to be like. And this you know, hangs off the arm of my couch and it has all like my cat brush. This thing, oh my gosh. Max likes these little silicone things and oh, do they get hair off of him. Um, 
But and then my pillow spray. Natural way to fall asleep. It's just lavender and some other herbs. Lavender, orange, chamomile, and ylang. What are that ylang lang? I don't know. But I washed this and it came out super soft and it just surprised me. Hey, crotchety clogger. Okay. Oh, lots more cats here on this one. Oh, and another one hiding over there. Corn silk. I like this. Oh, man. Just, you know how sometimes like words and phrases just like throw you back to childhood type stuff? Corn silk. I just remember, I mean, I grew up on a small hobby farm. Now, we, I guess, technically, the, um, um, it was a ranch, not a farm, because we grew animals, not plants. Nancy, are you talking about the one that goes on the couch? Um, I did that off of a pattern. I'll have to look to find the pattern again, because I did that right when I very first started crocheting. So, um, corn soup just reminds me of getting corn from like our neighbors that actually did grow plants and having to clean them. But I like how soft it is. Oh, these are pretty. I don't know if you can see these. These are gorgeous. They're size seven. Just to milk cows for a living. Ugh. Nancy, I will look to see if I can find the pattern for that again. Um and if I can find the pattern for it, then I will make a tutorial, but it will probably be a while. But I will definitely look for it. Okay, these are pretty, and they are smooth. I like these. I'm going to have to find something that needs, that I can use these with. I like those. Oh, I've seen these stitch markers. I've just never tried them before. The little swirly ones. I'm uh, trying to show you guys. The little swirly ones. Yeah, they look like they're painted wood. I mean, painted wood or I have seen this video somewhere on YouTube where this guy took a whole bunch of colored pencils and put them together and then um, made a bowl out of it. So you have all these different colors with it, but it's from colored pencils. And that's kind of what it reminds me of because it doesn't look so much painted as it just looks like that's just how the wood was. But I, I mean, so someone, whoever made these was talented. They got a little container of the little swirly um, swirly thingies, stitch markers. That's the word. Sorry, water water Zumba still got my brain a little tired. And another cat. Oh, and another cute little bottle. See, I've got bookcases where in place where I can display bottles like. This. Oh, these are big. Clover. Look at that. Hi, passion for pets. See, this is the size I'm used to. And then, oh, don't. Sorry, I hit, hit my touchpad there. That is so cool. I've just never seen any that big. Yes, I didn't drown, Becky. I just about did, though. I mean, it, the pool is only four and a half feet deep at its deepest. So theoretically, all I have to do is stand up. But, you know, they have those little tile strips between the lanes. Those things are slick when you're doing these weird little jazz kicks in the water and you accidentally step on one. 
and more cats. I think these are so cute. I've got a nice little stack growing here on my computer of this, these cats. I'm going to, have to figure out something to do with it, to do with them, because I'm definitely going to keep them. More, I love this yarn. Oh, and I dropped a cat. This one, antique teal. I'm not sure what makes it antique, but it is definitely teal. And it's pretty close to the same color, maybe a little bit greener on my side of the camera. Oh, and more Premier. Oh, and more cats. This is Heather. I wonder if that's Heather. Hundred percent acrylic. Okay, that might actually be Deborah Norville because that's the name on here. But I'm going to call her Heather anyway because that's what it says right above her. It's Heather. That's very pretty brown with the the flex. Hi, Remy and Amy and Mama Q. I like how squishy this stuff is. I'm going to have to look into actually one of my times when I do yarn allowance is getting the Premier yarn, but. Right now, my yarn allowance is going to... I'm doing the Harry Potter um, graph gan is what I'm saving my yarn allowance for. So, um, how I don't remember... I've got a link saved on my computer where it is, but it's... Um, so, that's why I had to learn the mini C2C. Let's see this one. Okay. Big twist. And more cats. And more cats that fell. I can make one hat. Or I can make a hat or a scarf. I like how this tells you how many skeins you need for each project. Yes, thank you, Crazy Shepherd M. Yeah, it does help if you guys hit the like button. Oh, there go the crackheads. What are you doing? What are you doing? Huh? There's the crackheads. I like this one. This is soft. 100% acrylic. I'm just not used to, I mean, honestly, growing up, you know, I'm just so used to oh, the yarn that we had. None of it stayed soft. And so, like, all the soft yarn, it just amazes me. Even the acrylic yarn is soft. And then, you get some of this other stuff that is just like super soft. You feel like you could just sink into it like a cloud. My grandmother used to raise German, like show, um, show dog for German shepherds. Like she won awards and ribbons and things. It's like, I don't really, I'm like, I remember one dog, but I remember just more like seeing the other stuff, but she was big into like going to the shows and the competitions or whatever they am. Mama Q, do you know how big the graph can was when it was finished? Because every time I go looking for it to find out how big it is when it's finished, I can't find anything. Aw, abusive homes suck. But yeah, thank you for rescuing a dog. I mean, I'm more of a cat person, but, you know, I'm not social enough for a dog. Like, that's kind of why instead of going and doing, like, free weights, two, day, two of my four days at the gym, I'm doing the classes because they force me to be more social. Long-haired Dotsons. I'm just thinking of furry little wieners running around. Dotsons are okay. Chihuahuas are the ones that I have never met a Chihuahua that didn't need a therapist and some Valium. Queen size. Okay. 
Because that way, I mean, I'm making it for a friend. He doesn't know yet. This will end up being his, um, probably his Christmas present. So, if hers is about queen size, I may, instead of, instead of doing the mini, I wonder if I did it the regular corner to corner with the double crochet instead of half double, would it make it like king size? Or would it just make it monstrous size? Four foot nine. I was four eleven in the fourth grade. I was taller than my fourth grade teacher. Oh, geez, a great Pyrenees. You could put a saddle on one of those. Two guineas, as in the bird or the pig. Look, this is this is soft. This I love this cotton. This is really soft stuff, and there's two of these. Aubergine, so I guess it's eggplant color. A little redder than eggplants. You want a Great Dane. Okay, you get a Great Dane, you really are going to have to put a saddle on it if you're four foot nine. That's the only way you'll be able to take it for a walk. My therapist wants to get um, a St. Bernard and train as a therapy dog. Because like when I go to therapy, we can take our we can take emotional support animals to therapy with us and to the doctor or whatnot. I don't I take little miss to therapy. I don't take her to the doctor visits. Um and I don't take her to the groups because she's just too much of a brat. Um but for the therapist, they actually have before they can bring their animals in, they have to be actual therapy dogs. But can you imagine a full grown St. Bernard as a therapy dog? That would just be so awesome. Okay, more cats. Premiere every day. Love this stuff. This is super soft. Chocolate. I wanted a rat for the longest time, but that was kind of my thing. My concern, though, was the sociability and the fact that you can't. I was all the books that I read about them so that you can't teach them not to chew on things. Like that's just, they're not going to learn not to chew on, on certain things. And so I was kind of concerned about would I be able to actually handle a cat or not a cat, a rat. But yeah, I, I wanted a rat, but I also know that you're supposed to get them as like baby, baby, like a, the youngest possible you can get them. And, um, pet smart never has rats. They have mice, but they never have rats. Petco had mice, I mean, had rats, but they were several months old, and I don't know how. Yeah, I mean, it's like, I get that they have to chew on things, and, like, you're supposed to give them things that they can't chew on, but, like, you can't teach them not to chew on your phone charger. My sister's friend has ferrets, and she rescued them. For, she is an animal control or animal welfare officer, and um, she has... I think she's got two ferrets now. Um, there's more cats in here. Um, but she rescued them. They were they were surrendered to the um, animal control, and so, so she and she adopted the ferret. And so then, when you know ferrets are more sociable, like they do better in pairs. So she got. Um, You know, so she's got two ferrets now so that they can be sociable together. But it's so cute when they let them out. Like my sister's there with her cats and her cat will play with the ferrets and be okay with it. Like my cat have met, the, Max has met, I think both of them have met the therapist at some point. Max was not having it and the little miss was still super tiny. So she just couldn't have done any damage anyway. Yeah, I'm like, I mean, I, I would really love having a rat, just especially because I know that they're smart. I know that they can, they snuggle and whatnot. And, you know, the, the small thing, like I had a, a hedgehog at one point, a little pygmy hedgehog, and I loved it. But um, my two cats are neurotic enough that I don't think bringing a rat into the mix would be a good idea. I mean, they already go after, like when I still live in my sister's house out in the country, um, they... 
um, lizards would get in. And so the, um, they would, um, you know, chase after the lizards and whatnot. So, so yes, yeah, so I don't think that my cats would be, would do well with the, with, if I brought in a pit rat. And Crazy Shepherd, are you the one that had the, the dog that was running in circles but would bark when you tell it to stop? But then would stop barking when it could run in circles? I watched that video the other day. Uh, it was so cute. More, I love this yarn. This is Dark Olive. I love olives. Hey, Grandma Gina. That video was hilarious, Crazy Shepherd. This is Red Heart Super Saver Ombre. Green Apple. Look at that. I like that color. This is... Doo -doo 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 -doo. I'm going to assume... Yep, 100% acrylic. See, it just amazes me. It says you can machine wash and dry because I always grew up. You didn't wash and dry stuff. Made in the U.S. of imported fibers. Okay. And more of the little paper cats. Oh, and another one of the big twists. I like this one. Soft. So I can make a matching hat and scarf. And then there are four of these loops and threads colors. They're furry. You're not furry, furry, but fuzzy. I don't know if you can see it a little bit. It's super soft. It's 100% acrylic. There are Two, four of those and a hitchhiking cat. That's pretty because it's got the brown in there, but then that light brown is actually a pinkish color. So I like that. It's super squishy. I do um, have a face. I have a Facebook page. I haven't thought about doing a group. I don't do much on the pages because I keep forgetting that I have it. Um, but I have the link to my Facebook page is always in the descriptions. I'm not sure what I would do with the group, though. My cats are going to be so happy. I think the cat's got treats. Up. I thought about trying to teach the um teach little miss tricks. Grandma Gina, I know who it's from. She just wanted to stay um wanted me to keep her identity secret. They go bonkers for green um, the greenies, which is uh, which is good because that's a dental treat. Because Max has never been one for letting me brush his teeth, and Little Miss has decided she's done getting her teeth brushed. Max just absolutely hates getting kisses, though. Okay, and the last thing in here, Yarnology stitch markers. Hold on. There's someone in the back, too. That is so cool.
I like those. Look at that, that itty bitty, that pair of scissors. What is it with the the bird scissors that everybody wants the bird scissors? I mean, are there, yeah, this was a nice haul and there's still more, um, I did a little paper cats in here. Yeah, so the, the cats get the box when I'm done. But yeah, I'm just, that was, look at, Okay, not counting the llama head. All of that was in that box. Yeah, I know that they're in old style. I mean, you see them a lot, and I didn't know if it was kind of like a tradition type thing or if there was just something special about it. Um, I like this for cutting yarn. So... All you saw was the pillowcase? Oh. Oh, gee, that pillowcase. I keep forgetting to flip that over when I record. I like that pillowcase. That's why this is an adult channel. Yeah, I don't know that I would, I mean, everywhere I see the, the bird scissors that I see probably are not the real ones if they're coming from like eBay and Wish, but yeah. 8 a.m. Saturday. So the weekend is coming. Okay. Do you see all that yarn? That thing was stuffed with yarn. And there were project bags. And treats for the cat. And crochet, big crochet hooks. And really, really pretty, um, Knitting needles. <laughs> um, Mama Q, the, the, the pillowcase has the the F-bomb on it in about one, two, three, four, five times. Maybe six. I got that from Wish a long time ago. But yeah, that's probably my favorite pillow. Let's see, now I'll get to figure out where to put my yarn. Yeah, that was an amazing box. That was a lot. And this yarn I got here from Michael's. I got 12 skeins of it for like $40, $45. That's what I'm going to make. Sabrina has a... Um, Hey, she did the Melody Cardi, and she's helping me um, make the adjustments for it so that I can make it to fit my size. <laughs> if you aren't hag, you're I'm stuck in your drawer. As long as I'm not stuck in your drawers, I'll be okay if it's just one drawer. So, um, yeah, so she's done that. So we've, we've got the measurement started that I can get started making the back, and then by the time I get to where I need to... Um, working on decreases, she'll have updated or caught up with me on the pattern. So. Yeah, I have all of my stuff. That, um, um, and then down, like, I still have the the looms that I do every so often. A lot of those moors, I need to learn um Thing, other things that you can do on looms other than a hat and a scarf just because my sister is pretty much just going to be stuck with loom knitting because she could crochet. It's just trying to convince her um, that, you know, she can actually do it because she, we've got her, as long as I can get her to sit there and do it, she does the, the single crochet really well. Oh, I'm beyond a yarn addict. I'm a yarn whore. I'll, I'll flat out admit that. But um, my sister, you know, she's left-handed and she was just having the hardest time learning to crochet left-handed and they switched her to doing it right-handed and she just immediately, her, her stitches were beautiful and everything was even and it looked great. Um, she started off wanting to learn granny squares and so she was getting confused on like the turning and wanting to turn everything. 
And so I took her, I backed her up and I said, okay, we're just going to do, you know, straight rows back and forth till you get the stitches down and then we'll get you in on a project. And, um, her anxiety makes her think that she's not as good as she, as she is. So, um, she could do, she does a lot better than she thinks she does. All right, well, take care, Crazy Shepherd, and, and give your dog a, some belly rubs for me. Yeah, the Max likes his belly rubs too, don't you? This was, yeah, he's purring now. That was the, for the longest time, the only way he let me pet him was sit there and rub his belly. Yeah, I'm working on right now, we've got her, she can do single crochet, so now I'm going to teach her like half double or double crochet, get her in some stitches. I've got a pattern that, a couple patterns that would be super easy for her to do, um, but she needs to know like half double and double, and then go through it. Um, she's just, her anxiety gets the better of her right now, but She's doing better, but I think if I can learn some of the other things that she can do on loom knitting that I can teach her that, she might feel a little bit more comfortable. You cannot eat the fuzzball. So, but she comes back the 29th. Her flight leaves Cozumel at 4.20, so it'll be like 9.30 before she lands. Um, and then... Within a couple days, you know, we've got to go, because she's got some land she's selling that we've got to um, get out to the um, all about the Seminole, which her truck is, I don't have a car. I go everywhere on the bus, but she does have a truck, but it's parked at her friend's house. So yeah, patterns. I, I like patterns. I think like with um, Bago de um, Crochet did the Taste the Rainbow scarf, and she did a really, really good job of explaining it on the the tutorial. And I could follow her, but I couldn't remember it for longer than what that row was. And so I would get confused and bat and have to keep backtracking. And it frustrated me. I finally just bought the pattern because being able to, hi, Ruby's Life, being able to see the, um, see it right now, just it helps because I have. Oh, she goes like, I have the attention span of a gnat on crack and the memory of a goldfish with Alzheimer's. So. In, okay, crocheting around New Zealand. Could you, um, like, either in here or on the, the comments, um, on here, yeah, post a link to that? Because then I could show her... Um, because I think that there's a lot more, if we can get her, you know, going on the crocheting, that's opened up a lot more stuff that she can do. Yeah. Crackheads are fighting. So. Yeah, okay. Who was it that said that they, let me back up the chat here just a minute. So, Grandma Gina, yeah, you started the anxiety meds. I take I I take propranolol for my for anxiety. Hey Liliana, um, <coughs> it we we went through the whole gamut of everything, trying all the different meds on for the anxiety. I mean, taking the Buspar and Ativan and Xanax, and I don't like taking the narcotics if I don't have to. Um, plus, on sometimes with some of the other meds that I'm on, they interact with them. And we'd gone through all the way down to like, we had taken the clonopin and everything and nothing working. My doctor was like, well, let's just try this thing. And he puts me on for Panelol. And within 20 minutes of taking that first dose, I just felt calm for the long, for the first time in a long time. And um, you can post the link if you want to wait till after the live's over. Cause I'm probably going to end it at, at the hour mark, but um you can post it in the comments down below and then I'll be able to see it. And once I go there and do it and then I can um, teach her how to do it. But, but I called my doctor after like 20 minutes 
after taking that first pill, called me. I was like, why in the world did you just now try me on the, the non-narcotic one? And it's because it's a beta blocker. So like, um, the honestly snipers in the military, a lot of times we'll take it because it helps with, because, you know, when you're a sniper, they're the hair trigger, whatnot. Um, as far as the technique, um, but on a lot of sports stuff, it's considered a performance enhancing drug. Um, paroxetine, paroxetine, is that Paxil? I haven't tried Paxil in a long time. Right now I'm on Luvox and Stratera and the Stratera is supposed to be helping for the ADHD and it really doesn't help that much. Um, we've gone through all the new meds like Pristique and Trentilix and whatnot. They're not working. The Wellbutrin doesn't work anymore. Effects are we, you know, we tried it a couple years ago and it quit working. Um, Lexapro, uh, Lexapro, yeah, Lexapro worked for me for a long time. But my thing is, my problem is meds after a while, they just stop working for me. And right now we can't find one that works consistently like, I rate my depression on a, it's a negative five to a pot to a plus five scale. So if you think the app, you know, a plus five would be someone that's bipolar, that's in a full blown manic stage. Negative five would be someone that is critically depressed. That just like crisis level. If they had the energy to move, they probably would hurt themselves or something. The average human hangs out at a two to three range, maybe a four range. Um, on like, you know, holidays and vacation, whatnot, I hang out at a, um, between a negative two to a zero. So well, a lot of the, a lot of the antidepressants they found also help with anxiety. Oh, thyroid induced anxiety. Oh, geez. Yeah. That's hard. When it's something that much you know linked in with like chemical you know like body chemistry it does get hard um my sister had thyroid cancer and they the thyroid cancer that they originally thought she had was the kind that was incurable and so they suggested a they didn't remove the entire thyroid they just removed part of it and then did radiation and it was supposed to basically just to, it was palliative. It just to kind of extend her life a little bit, not cure it. And so she went down to Mexico to have medical treatment done because it's cheaper in Mexico and they did more testing and they're like, no, it's not the terminal kind. It's the kind that's curable. But if they had known um, back in the States that it was the curable kind, they would have removed the entire thyroid and she would have been on a lot more of the thyroid medicine than she is now. So, but yeah, she still has problems where every so often she'll go into, um, her thyroid just spazzes out on her, but she's doing, you know, she did, she did the radiation and everything. She's doing fine on that. Now we've just got to get her anxiety under control and, um, get things situated, but I think she'll be fine. She's in, like, I I'm dealing with chronic. This is my life. This is, you know, and yeah, most people with thyroid cancer have the whole thing removed and it's a lot harsher on your body to have the whole thing removed. But, um, but she just had part of it removed, like the tumor or whatnot removed and not the whole thyroid. So it's a little bit, um, less of a, you know, less of a hassle now for her, but she does have to take thyroid medicine, just not as much as, you know, most people would. And the doctors keep testing my thyroid. Every time I go to a doctor, I get my thyroid level checked because low thyroid can, that can cause depression. And yeah, you're not going to feel the same with low energy because even taking the thyroid hormone, it's just not quite the same, but Probably low energy is going to be better than unchecked cancer. So, but anyway, I have made it to the hour mark. So I am going to let you guys go. I'm going to find a, you know, rearrange my shelf to make all this fit on here. And I have my.
purple blanket that's going to get frogged again to do the do as a corner to corner. And um, so I'm going to work on that. And my phone is chirping. So thank you guys for stopping in. I had 29 people in here, 29 likes. Nope, 30 people now. Looks like Noni Mae still didn't make it in here. I'm going to tease her. Told her I said the con the thing now is to see how many lives I can have that she doesn't make it in on. So, but anyway, have a great day, guys, and thanks for hanging out with me. Maybe. Oh, there we go.